Hey everybody, it's me, Taryn Eileen, and welcome back to our Nancy Drew Let's Play of Ghost Dogs of Moon Lake. Uh, I am really excited to get started playing today. Um, we are expecting a package from this lady named Vivian uh, Whitmore. Actually, I do think we need to um, send her a package first, and then she'll send us one herself. Uh, let's see if we still have it. Um, yeah, we need to send her this picture. So we just barely finished talking to her. Um, so we are going to head out uh, to Acres, whatever his name is, um, out there and have him send this to her. I think Jeff Akers? Is that his name? Hello again, Miss Drew. Hi. Am I in for another interrogation? I'd like to mail this photo to the woman in Las Vegas. Can you do that for me? As always, I'm here to serve, Miss Drew. Just Thank give you. it to me, and I'll take care of it. I'm sure she'll be very pleased to get this back. Did your grandfather ever find any gold on Malone's property? If he did, he never spent it. He wasn't poor when he died, but he certainly wasn't rich. I finished putting all those envelopes in order. Excellent. Thank you, Miss Drew. And You're to welcome. show my gratitude, I've got something for you. Chances are it isn't a paycheck. No, it's an honorary Junior Park oh, Ranger pin. Oh, yay! I keep them on hand so I can give them out to children whom I see demonstrating <gasps> respect for park rules and regulations. A little bit of positive reinforcement. Oh, thanks. Unfortunately, I don't get to give them out that often. Oh, gee, thanks, Ranger Acres. Thanks for all your help. That's why I'm here. Oh, gee, thanks. Oh, uh, let's look at this. Um, we need to call Sally about her well water. I think the people above me are moving out because they've been very noisy today. Okay. We're gonna call Sally about her well water. Cause there was arsenic in it. Uh, 555-5389. It's confusing to put it in a circle. Hello? Hey, Sally, it's Nancy. Nancy, did you see them? Did you see the dogs? Yes, I did, and I can understand why you left. They were pretty frightening. But if it's okay with you, I'd really like to stay and get to the bottom of whatever is going on. That's why you asked me here in the first place, right? Yes, but Nancy, are you sure? Positive. Consider Detective Drew officially on the case. I wish I were even half the trooper you are, Nancy. <sighs> I have such high hopes for that house. All the beauty there, the wildlife, all the pictures I was going to take. It would break my heart to have to give it up. I need you to tell me everything you can about those dogs. They're black and they have yellow glowing eyes and they don't like me one bit. When's the first time you saw them? Well, let's see. I heard them the very first night I was here. I heard them almost every night, howling in the distance, but I didn't actually see them until I'd been here about a week. After that, they started appearing pretty much every other night. When they appeared, did they always do the same thing? Yes, come to think of it. They always came running up to the house, barking and snarling. They'd lunge at the windows, they'd jump up on the door, they'd run around and bark some more, then they'd run off. What are you getting at? These attacks seem to involve a lot of choreography, which reinforces my theory that you're not being randomly attacked by a pack of wild dogs, but by dogs who've been trained by someone determined to scare you out of your house at Moon Lake. Who would want to do that? 
My closest neighbor lives two miles away. My property is surrounded by the state park, but it's off-season, so hardly anybody is in the park. In fact, I bet I talked to a total of three people the whole four weeks I was at Moon Lake. Which three people? Let's see. The park ranger. I forget his name. Kind of a pain in the neck. Emily Griffin. She's the one who owns that store I told you about. And I ran into this bird watcher a couple of times. Had a funny name. Red Knot. I run into him, too. Other than people I may have nodded hello to while getting gas or something, I swear those are the only people I've talked to at Moon Lake. What about River Heights? Can you think of anyone there who'd want you to sell your house at Moon Lake and move back to River Heights? <laughs> you mean like an angry ex-boyfriend or something? Nope, I sure can't. Since I'm going to be staying here a while, is there anything I should know about the place? Well, let's see. I've got the water turned off because it's well water and it needs to be tested before I can use it for anything. In fact, if you could get that testing done for me, I'd really appreciate it. Already oh, done. and watch where you walk in the living room. Some of the floorboards are Already so done. hot you could fall right through. And I keep hearing these faint squeaks and rustling type noises coming from below the floor. I hope you're not scared of mice. That Emily Griffin is quite a character. How well do you know her? I feel like I've known her all my life. She's so open and friendly. She likes to make it sound as if Moon Lake used to be a major hangout for criminals and degenerates, which isn't really true and irks some people around here no end. But I figure she's just trying to make a buck. I'm afraid I have some bad news. I had your well water tested, and according to the health department, it contains a very high level of arsenic. Arsenic? Somebody poisoned my well? Maybe, maybe not. The health department is running more tests. When you bought the house, did anyone mention a problem with the well? No. And it doesn't matter. I love that house, and I am going to live in it. If that well's bad, I'll just dig another one. At least, I will when I know for sure why bad things keep happening there. You are going to figure that out, right, Nancy? Mm -hmm. You bet I am. I knew I could count on you. Were you ever told that Mickey Malone supposedly buried a small fortune in gold bullion somewhere on your property and that it has yet to be found? Is this a joke? Malone supposedly stole a bunch of gold bars off a train and buried them at Moon Lake. You never heard about that? Uh, no. Could it be true? Well, if somebody thinks it's true, that may be the reason they're trying to frighten you off your property. How did you hear about it? I found the journal of a man named William Akers in a safe in your cellar. He was one of Malone's closest associates. Ever hear of him? Never. I'm curious. Why did you characterize the park ranger as a pain in the neck? I left part of a ham sandwich on a picnic table once. Big mistake. From the way he carried on, you'd think I just made the FBI's ten most wanted list. I don't think he likes me. Emily says it's because I wrecked his dream of becoming Super Ranger or something when I bought the Malone house instead of the Parks Department. Me, I think he just basically has a problem relating to people unless they're asking questions or breaking the law. Where'd all that stuff in your tool shed come from? It's just junk left behind by previous owners. Came with the house. I've been meaning to take inventory and start pitching stuff, but I didn't. If they ever make procrastination a crime, I'm done for. In the paperwork that you had to wade through when you bought this property, do you recall ever coming across the name Vivian Whitmore? No, I sure don't. Who's she? A close friend of Mickey Malone's, or so it would seem. Her name wasn't anywhere on the deed. I know that. Are you aware that you're the proud owner of your very own cemetery? Yes. When the realtor told me there was a cemetery on the property, I went, ugh. But when I saw how far from the house it was and how small it was, I decided I could live with it as it were. So you didn't go out there much? Uh, no. Talk to you <laughs> later. Bye. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. Let's see our little list here. Check in with Acres to see if he sent the key. Already? Okay. It might just be triggered from going to and from. Like, if I went somewhere else, I could have gotten it. I think that's all we're waiting on, actually. A package just arrived for you from Las Vegas. Wow, that was fast. Priority mail. Great. Vivian sent me Wouldn't the key. Wouldn't want to break any littering laws, would we? 
Thanks for all your help. Always a pleasure. <sighs> Okay, Miss Vivian. Uh, use it on the Wallow Matthias grave at the cemetery. Boom. Here we go. We need to go... Not that way. I need to go around the house, please. Around. There we go. And let's see if I remember where to go. It has been a few days. I think that way. That way. Hey, I'm doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Eh. Made it. Waldo. Oh, and look at that. Oh. Do we know how to do this yet? Mm. No, we don't. We need to call Vivian back because the key didn't work. There's something else that needs to be done. I think I have more trouble coming back than I do getting there. <laughs> there we go. Vivian, it didn't work! I like having this little list. It's like not too revealing of what to do next, but it gives you a hint. 702-555-937. In later games, there's actually like a task list and whenever you complete something, it checks it off. Hello? Uh, is this Vivian? No, this is Eustacia Andropov. Vivian's fixing snacks in the kitchen. Oh my gosh, Eustacia Andropov? Harry Houdini's <laughs> cousin? Use the air horn like I showed you! No, Eustacia, wait! It's Nancy Drew. I talked to you on the phone a couple of months ago, just after a friend of mine was kidnapped in St. Louis. I asked you questions about the theater where the kidnapping took place, the Royal Palladium, remember? Nancy Drew, the, the Snoopy one, you're not dead yet? Uh, no. Most people, I talk to them one day, next day they're dead. It is an old age thing. Oh, stop being so morbid here. Have some clam dip. Hello? Nancy? So you know Eustacia, huh? Small world. Well, what's up? I got the key you sent me. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. There's just one thing. It doesn't seem to work. Oh, where is my brain? The key unlocks the letters of the inscription. Just dial in the password and you'll be set. There's just one more thing. Oh, uh, you don't know the password. I'm sorry. Eustacia and I have been playing Canasta all day, and I guess beating her all those times took more out of my brain than I thought. Next game, I win. Next game, loser pays for pizza. Well, get out your wallet, sister, because you're going down. Oh, uh, So, where okay. were we? Oh, yeah, the password, the password. Let's see. It was the name of that federal agent, his first name. Waldo? No, 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 not his real first name. Oh, Mickey was always calling him. Baldo. That was it, Baldo. I always thought it was mean to call him that. Especially since Mickey was starting to get a little sparse on top himself. So I just turn the letters until they spell Baldo? Yes, dear, but like almost everything else in life, it's trickier than it sounds. Are there any other tricks to getting into the speakeasy that I should know about? <sighs> I suppose it's only fair to warn you about the tunnels, and the doors, and the dead ends. Tunnels? You mean there's more than one way to get to the speakeasy from the cemetery? Mickey had his men dig a bunch of tunnels between the speakeasy and the cemetery with hidden doors that opened when other doors closed and lots of dead ends. 
so that if the speakeasy was ever raided, his guests could hide from the police. I was always terrified of getting lost, but you're a plucky girl. I'm sure you'll be fine. It's been fun talking to you. Absolutely, positively. <laughs> okay, so now we can get into the speakeasy. This is gonna be fun. So let's head back to the cemetery. My roommate's at work right now and her cat is crying. He is very lonely. <laughs> My cat doesn't want to hang out with him. Okay, so like before, um, the this puzzle, I just start at the beginning, getting the letter that I want. And then I move to the next one, it's already an A. This one I want as an L. This one I want as a D. And this one I want as an O. Then I just start back over, B, A, and then L, D, O. That's the easiest way to do it. It's too dark, Ooh. I need a flashlight. Oh, that just reopens that. Okay. Oh, the batteries are going dead. No. I can't see a thing. I'd better go back. Uh. Okay. Dang it. Now I have to go buy batteries. Sucks. Okay, Miss. Emily? Is that her name? Emily? I think so. We get to go buy you some... Get to buy some batteries from you. Or M. I guess her name's just M, isn't it? Okay, do you have some batteries? Nice Junior Park Ranger pin. You must really be on Acre's good side. Thanks. Do you know anything about the gold that Mickey Malone supposedly buried somewhere on his property? All I got to say about it is, if there really was a bunch of gold buried somewhere and nobody ever found it, it's for darn sure nobody ever will. Not with them dogs up there. I need flashlight batteries. Do you carry them? Yep. But you know... I've been meaning to make a pretty display out of them packs of combo coal over there for the longest time. Just can't seem to get around to it. In other words, you'd like me to give it a shot. Here's the way it should look when you're done. Oh, my. Why is that pretty? Okay. My cat is just like, I brought this chair for her back from home and she's never used it since. And she seems like she wants to lay down on it. She used to lay down on it all the time back at home. Oh my gosh, she totally is. Okay, I gotta ignore her. Okay, so we have two greens, an L, yellow, and a purple. That's right. Two greens, two oranges, two yellows. That's right. And this one's wrong. That's gonna be this one, because no other places have... Well, I guess it could be that one. Uh, but it's this one. There we go. No, it's not. That one has greens. This one, it's this one. Right? Oh my heck, she's laying down there. 
I have to show you. Right there. I brought that little chair back from home because it was her favorite spot to sleep. And she has not laid there since I brought it here. That makes me happy. Okay, anyway, moving on, let's go to this side now. So we have all the green starting with purples and then yellows down. Uh, so this one's in the right spot, just needs to be turned. Then I think that one goes there and needs to be turned. Um, this one has a green. There we go. So that the green goes like that. And then I think that's right. And lastly, we have four blues, a yellow blue. There we go. Um, next, we have two L shapes, a yellow L shape, purple L shape. Um, two yellows, an uh, orange L shape. Yeah. Um, three yellows and two reds and an orange. And then under that, uh, I'm on my hand. Um, a long L shape and two reds, which that one just needs to be turned. Okay, let's go here. So we have a long L shape, two yellows. Then we have this one, the two purples. Oh, did we just get it? Ta-da! One smiling goldfish. <laughs> it's obvious oh, they never tried Oh, that's what it cola. looks like. I was like, how would you even know what that looks like, though? Because from this, I didn't even see that. Give me a battery. Hey Nancy, this mean you got them cans stacked? You bet. They look just like the picture you gave me, which you can have back. Here's your batteries, and Thank thanks, Nancy. Thank you. She gave me a lot, so hopefully they will stay on for the rest of the game. Back to Mickey Malone's house. <gasps> nah, why'd it change to nighttime? I guess it doesn't matter. It's not like I'm meeting anybody out in the forest. Except for maybe Mickey Malone's ghost. Or his ghost dogs. Uh, okay, I did go the right way. Here we go. Do this again. So, I wonder if I have to do this every time. I guess I can... Maybe it will like lock in place after a while, or I could find the other entrance. It's Flashlight. silly to try to explore this in the dark. <gasps> There's paw prints. So this is the speakeasy. Wow. <laughs> Dapper dogs. Sodas and spirits. Okay, so here's Iggy's painting. Shows Those me. must be the spigots William Akers mentioned in his journal. Ooh, they're different colors. Red, 
Uh, the spigot won't move. Huh. There must be a way to unlock these spigots. Okay. Vitus. If is correct, the tree where Vitus would bark at the hawks right used here. to be right about here. Okay. So Iggy was on the porch. Vitus would bark at the tree. Um. Ooh. <gasps> I wonder if that does a spigot. We'll look at it in a second. Because there's this photo here. Of so Lucy. Lucy would swim out to the shipwreck, which is about here. There's a shipwreck? Yeah, she has green. And then there's one more over here. Uh oh. He's red, but it's damaged. Can I say something like, oh, it's damaged? Hmm. I wonder if... Um, Vivian would know. Yes, it's soda. So, we have the yellow... Do we need to do it in a certain order? Like before, like spring, summer, fall, winter? Like Lucy Xander, Iggy Vitus. So Lucy would swim out to the shipwreck. She was blue. Right? Xander was red then Iggy was I don't know <laughs> Vitus was blue Lucy was green. That one's red. So red is red is Xander. And so Iggy would be yellow. Hard to navigate through here. Wonder what it does. Oh. Do I spell out a name? I wonder if it was in that journal. I think I spell out a name of some sort. Or maybe the colors are according to like the dog's first thing. So like red would be X. So it wasn't once. So maybe this one goes twice for an X. Nope. Uh, let's try three. Um, 
maybe just, I guess not zero. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Because X comes like right away, but it skips right over the X. Let's see how many it takes to get back to the S again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think it's gonna take nine. Or one more than I just had. Uh, only goes to six. And I'm back to S. Let's do two. Then three. Yes, X, finally. But now we can't go out unless I keep note, which would be smart. So two comma three on that one. So then the blue is Vitus. Two, three. And then maybe two. It seems like it might be the same spot as the other one. It is. So, like two and three again. Or just five? Question mark. Two comma three. Then we have yellow. Should we try three again? See how many away um i is it's in the same spot okay so two more okay and then probably same for this one Oh, we are getting way ahead of <laughs> But we did it. We did something. We opened a secret passageway. That's all we're doing today, guys. <laughs> um, okay, so we completed that puzzle, which is pretty awesome. But um, I hope you guys have a great week this week. I know we're leaving it on kind of a cliffhanger with this secret passageway opening. It might actually lead us back to the house, hopefully, so that I don't have to go back to the cemetery every time I want to come here. But I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Have courage and be kind, and we shall see you all next time. Bye!